Good morning, people. How are we all doing on this bank holiday weekend? James Morrison, James Social Cycling. I hope you're all well. What a glorious day it's looking to be. Sunday, 25th of August. It is actually my birthday today. So happy birthday, me. I am 37. <clears throat> See, couldn't even say 37. Probably had a decade to that and we'd be on the money. Okay, I've got a series of three videos. Uh, part one, part two, and part three that I am going to start off today so part one today part two tomorrow and then part three on tuesday so um, part one is how to install a quick link onto your chain part two is cleaning your chain two ways of cleaning your chain and part three is lube is what um, lube to use on your chain and how to imply how to apply it and last but not least same video there will be a chain related giveaway all right so that'll be at the end of part three but you will need to watch all three videos to be able to answer the questions just three questions just relating to the three videos all right so to start off with obviously we're on part one now so Part one, install a quick link or missing link onto your chain. Hopefully um, you will enjoy, there's no much real fun about it. So to swap the chain over, you're going to need some tools. I don't even think actually that I've got the uh, quick link with me at the moment, but the tools you're going to need is in this nice little bag. The reason why I've kept them in this nice little bag is for a very good reason. Because this little bag with these tools in, there's a link in the description below where you can go onto Amazon and buy these all these tools for for $12.99 from Amazon, okay? So check that link out, you'll get all of these tools which are pretty much needed for the job, all right? So check that link out. So first of all, so we got a chain link tool. So this is for taking out you also have the splitter tool and I bought this I've got one of these but this is the splitter tool so when you've got the chain link on or the missing link this is other called chain so it's a missing link or a chain link but when you put the missing link on you've got one way of opening it and then you've got the other way where you can actually close it so again I will show you how these are all you mean measure. So you have a 0.1 and a 0.75. So you can set this onto the chain and it will tell you what and how much wear you've had. Um, 0.1 is change chain, basically, if that falls straight in. But again, I will show you how that works. All right, so link below. $12.99 Amazon. So, be sure you've got the right tools. You'll have to excuse, I've got GoPro. I'm gonna try and obviously bring you some close up uh, when working on the bike. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll uh, give you the information you need. So bear with me, you'll hear my voice, but the rest of it will probably be from the GoPro. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Just gonna check the chain itself. So as you can see, that's uh, nope, that's one. I know this chain's brand new anyway. The cassette and the chain is brand new. So, so just testing that, and you can test the 7.5 as well. So again, that if that falls through, then you would turn it over to the one. And if the one fell through, then basically you are um, your chain needs changing. 
Also, you need to look out for, and you'll have to excuse because I don't know if you can see this right there, but this is the main, one of the main links to the chain. So when you're looking at removing a link, and this is what we call a link, do not go for something like this link because it is the main link. You always go off to one side of the link and then take something like these. You'll find maybe a couple on here, I haven't looked, but you'll find one or two, maybe on, on some of the other chains, you'll find a few more. But these two is what you really wanna go for, something that isn't the main link. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the wheel, slacken off the chain and everything to make sure, I'm gonna stick it all in the higher gears, the smaller cogs, makes uh, the chain a lot easier to manage, all right? the way just so you know the defy is up for sale anybody's got any interest in it give me a shout so when applying the chain tool on you want to make sure that when you're going through the link now I'm taking one of these out because the quick link or the missing link is literally that shape which actually I haven't got yet so when you're going through to the pin you need to make sure that that is very straight give it a good hold and then literally just turn it until you feel the break push that pin all the way through there you go, and you feel it go loose again. Unwind. And there you have the chain. Again, giving yourself a bit of room there making sure it's nice and straight. Okay. And as you see, I haven't cleaned this chain yet. There you go, it's just gone all loose. Take that away and pull this. And there you have. As you can see, chain tool, job done. So this is what is called a missing link or quick link. And as you can see, I have a 11 speed um, SRAM version, but I have a Shimano chain, but that is fine. These work fine on there. And as you can see is what you've got here is just a link which which goes together like so and clicks together but let's let's show you how to do this in this situation you're going to need this this will hold the chain together with a bit of slack and you're going to need the chain so you're going to need a bit of slack here so you want to sort of come up maybe a couple just so you're not gonna get in your own way and then when you pull this one over you're then gonna wanna literally so then that just gives you something that you can play with they do have directional arrows on them, so make sure that the arrows are going the right way. For instance, on this side, you're looking at this way. 
and then on this side it's the opposite side and then it's just about lining them up it's just about lining them up but that one doesn't want to there you go there you go so now you've got them connected and from this point on this is why I, I haven't used this tool before but what you'll do is you'll put it in between here and then you'll bring them apart and that will help In fact, let me do it the other way around first. So let's take this off. I keep wanting to put things in my mouth, which is no good because I won't be able to talk to you. Take the tool. Take the tool like so, I'm hoping you can see this. And if you just watch this, pull it apart and click right in between. Now the tool I've been using for this whole time has only been a connector tool. So you can, a, a, a dis, dismantle tool, so you click it off like so. But usually what you do is when you get back on the bike, when that's at tension, you can then pedal the bike and that will click into place but I just thought this would be a great idea. It's a lot easier. All right, so there people, you have just witnessed me taking off a link from a chain to add a quick link or what they call a missing link. Now, the reason why this is people do this is so now when it comes to, cl to cleaning their chain, basically they can just take it apart and take the chain off and clean the chain externally from the bike. So now you can see so the, now the chain works. Let's get out to an easy gear. There you go. And there you have it. And there's a quick link or the missing link. So now you can take that off and take the chain off whenever you're needing to clean the chain. You have a link down below in the description which will have these three items. I will also, well I won't put a link to the quick link. The reason for that is, is because you need to buy the quick link that goes with your chain. So again, if you've got a Shimano, then you'll need either a Shimano SRAM or a KMC quick link or missing link. But you need to tally that up with what gears that you have as well. So if you've got a 7, 8, 9, 10 or 11 gear bike, you have to make sure that the quick link will fit your chain uh, by knowing what gears because they're all different. OK, um, hopefully you got some good information out of that, guys and girls. Um, just remember, there's, uh, I do talk about putting the chat, the missing link or onto the chain for a very good reason. And that is, um, for taking it off and cleaning it. But the other good reason is, is if you know how to do this, you should actually carry a missing link or a quick link with you on your rides, because it is a, a great way. If your chain snaps, you can literally just whip the chain link off and put one of the missing link or the quick link on and you're back up and running. I carry one of those all the time. So that's the other reason. Hopefully guys, you enjoyed the video or got some information, even got some info out of it. That's the main thing. Um, appreciate your support. Any comments down below, please do. Don't forget if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And obviously, hopefully I'll see you on the road very soon.